kind of feel like a musketeer today. These sleeves, if you know what I mean. <laughs> On guard. I'm the most embarrassing person I know. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and today we are going to be doing a foundation wear test and first impressions. Hey guys, Esty and Kiriel here. Um, I just realised I didn't actually tell you what foundation I was trying to do. <laughs> I know it's in the title but I just thought I'd uh, pop in and let you know that today we're going to be trying the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Foundation. But yeah, my uh, stupid ass forgot to even tell you what I was trying out. So, uh, um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's all I have to add. Uh, let's continue, normal programming. Back to Kiriel from the past. I'm super duper excited to try this foundation. This has got a lot of hype online. And also, a lot of people have been sponsored to try this foundation. So, I thought it'd be interesting to try it. Obviously, I'm not discrediting anybody's sponsorship. You go, you girl, you get your coin. <laughs> but I wanted to see if the reviews lived up to the foundation claims. Because a lot of people are raving about this. And I just wanted to, you know, give my two cents and try it out. But before we get into it, though, if you are new to my channel, hi, hello. I hope you decide to stick around. Try a new foundation is one of my favorite things to do and if you think alike then why not subscribe all you need to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button and that will notify you when I upload and yeah before we get into the application swatches and all of that jazz let's get into the claims of the foundation what's the tea urban decay what's the tea so they claim it to be a buildable medium coverage foundation with a real skin matte finish that lasts up to 24 hours don't wear your foundation for that long okay <laughs> we don't need 24 hours okay just give me give me 12 and I, i'd be happy you know i just don't need to sleep in that shit <laughs> It's supposed to be weightless, waterproof, long wear, with a flexible and breathable formula that moves with you all day and night. It's also a vegan formula and comes in 50 shades, which is amazing. The way that the shades are lined up, it's really, really interesting. They've got nine shade intensities, three master tones, and seven undertones. So there is a lot of shades going on in their shade range. And I'll talk about the shades when I apply it to my face. There is a lot of options when it comes to this foundation, which is incredible. They've managed to kind of give such variety in the 50 shades. It's not just mindlessly put together. They seem to have really thought about it. So hopefully people will be able to find their shades in this range. This is available at places like Debenhams. You can get it online from Feel Unique, Urban Decay. It retails for our eye water in £29.50, <laughs> which isn't the most expensive foundation out there. I mean, I've got the Hourglass Stick Foundation, which costs like a, a lot more than that. <laughs> it is Urban Decay, so it is a higher price point, but we will see today if it lives up to that fee Urban Decay. We shall see. <laughs> so I would show you the bottle, but I don't actually have one. <laughs> I'll insert a picture by here what the bottle looks like. I have however felt it and touched it. It's plastic, it's sleek, it's tall, it looked like it would be very easy to pop into your makeup bag. But instead of buying the full thing and paying an eye water in £29.50, <laughs> I decided to pick up a sample which I would highly recommend instead of going straight in with buying the foundation, especially with so much money on the line, £29.50 is a lot of dollar, okay? If you don't know if it's going to work for your skin type, I would suggest getting a sample. The majority of retailers will allow you to do this. I may decide at the end of the video whether or not I'll purchase. <laughs> okay, so now we've gone through all that, let's get into the swatches and then the wear test, which is the most important part in my opinion. Let's go. Okay, so here are some swatches for shade comparison. These two are the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. This is in the shade 11NN and this is 20NN. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation in the shade 15 Porcelain. This is the Maybelline Superstay Foundation in the shade 03 True Ivory. This is the CYO Life Proof in the shade 101. Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade F1. Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 1110. NARS Sheer Glow in Siberia, Max Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NW10, and the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation in the shade Blanc. Okay, so I picked up two samples of two different shades, mainly because when I was in store there was a lot of choice, which is amazing. I decided to go in the neutral because they have yellow and pink tones, but they were way too yellow and too pink for me. <laughs> Typically, if I'm picking up a foundation, I will go neutral if there's the option. If not, I usually go for a yellower tone, but because there's so many shades in this range, I did have a few options to choose from. So I picked up 20NN and 11NN. There are actually lighter shades than this. It's hard to know in store what your shade 
shade is I found. The first shade that I swatched that I thought was going to be a good match for me it was actually 40NN. However then it darkened so it oxidized quite a bit on my hand. So I'm glad I didn't go with my first choice. <laughs> but I'll show you the swatches because I did take a picture in store. I swatched a lot. I swatched 40NN, 20NN, 10NN and then I swatched one that was like 20YN which is the yellow undertone and it was way too golden for me. But just a heads up if you are planning to get this foundation I would suggest swatching it on your hand, leaving it for a bit and then coming back to it just so you're getting the true shade representation or you know get colour matched by someone who's in store. <laughs> side by side these look like so similar. So I'm gonna swatch them on my chest. So this is 20 and end here. So it's slightly too dark. <laughs> and this is 11 and that looks pretty perfect. Blended out it really melts into the skin so I think we're gonna go with a lighter shade. I mean, are we shocked? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> As per usual, with all my foundation reviews, I've already primed. I've used the e.l.f. Putty Primer and I'm going to be trying it with different tools. So I'm going to be using it with my Y6 by Morphe for the brush side and also I'm going to be using a sponge. This is a Sports FX sponge. So yeah, let's rock and roll, everybody. Now, because it's in a jar, I can't really show you the consistency on my little glass palette because that would just be awkward to do. But feeling it in my hands just now, it felt very thin and like weight but creamy at the same time. Put a few little dots and I'm gonna use a sponge on this side. We'll see what happens. Obviously I didn't put too much foundation down but this is coming off very sheerly. <laughs> Barely look like I've put anything on my face. <laughs> my sponge is absorbing quite a bit of this. Okay I'm gonna try and put some product on my sponge and then go to my face. You can see everything still. See if we can build this up. Obviously you guys saw I have a lot of redness, a lot of freckles, a lot of imperfections. I have a lot to cover up. <laughs> the shade looks pretty perfect now that it's actually on my face. So I'd say right now my face is kind of looking like a medium coverage. It's not covering up everything. I feel like my sponge is really absorbing a lot of the product. So I really want to try it with a brush just to see if I can get more coverage. I'm gonna go in and dot about the same amount and let's see how much coverage we get on this side. One thing I will say is this is super light. Like I don't feel like there's anything going on my skin right now. I am getting quite a bit of streaking on this side. Product doesn't really want to spread nicely with the brush. I'm like having to like work this into the skin to get a nice even coverage and not see like stipple marks. And this is quite a dense flat brush, you know? Okay, so it's smoothed down a little bit now that I've kind of worked it into the skin, but it took me a while to do that. I have got a little bit more coverage on this side. It's covered up a bit more of my imperfections on here. Like you can still see like my freckle coming through on this side. Obviously this is one layer with a brush though and this is two with a sponge. So I use more product on the sponge side to get as much coverage as the brush. Mm. It's a bit of a catch-22 again. I'm gonna go in with one more layer on the brush side and then possibly even myself out and see where we get to. I do really like the way that my skin looks right now though. All right, let's go in. I'll do a close-up for you so you can hopefully see what I mean by it's not blending that nicely and you can still kind of see brush marks in my skin. It's just looking a little bobbly with the brush and I use this brush for pretty much all my foundation reviews. I don't usually have trouble. I may just go over it with a sponge to get rid of that kind of texture that's going on but the coverage has built nicely which is great. I'm gonna just pat over with my sponge. Okay yeah that looks so much better. <laughs> my skin I know I'm a little bit uneven. I've got a lot more coverage on the side but it looks so good right now. Like the finish on this is beautiful. It's just very natural. Like it doesn't look oily. It doesn't look matte. It just looks like natural skin. The color is right. I love the color of this. It's perfect. Like I'd say this is one of the best matches I've ever had a foundation. What are you doing over in Decay? <laughs> I'm just gonna even myself out a little bit more and add a little bit more product on the sponge side and be right back. Okay, so I added just a little bit of an extra layer. My skin literally just feels like my skin. I don't feel like I've put any product on it at all. And the finish is so beautiful. I love it. My skin texture isn't emphasized, but I don't look like I've 
put like a smoothing filter over my skin it just looks real I still have like the natural sheen it doesn't feel sticky either which is great it does have like a little bit of a tack to it so I would have to powder this down I personally have to powder foundations things like that because I do have oily skin so I need to you know stop it in its tracks as soon as possible <laughs> the coverage is really good it's not you know like a mask it's not completely full 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 coverage I would say it's more medium but it is buildable but yeah I'm really liking the way my skin looks and feels right now. It's now 5 past 10, but I have been babbling for the past 5 minutes, so let's call the check-in time 10 o'clock. I'm gonna go finish off the rest of my face, and then we'll be right back. And we'll see how this foundation wears, guys. I'm excited. <laughs> hey guys, so I thought I'd just check in real quick. So this is my completed face. It's quarter past 11 right now, so it's been on for a little while. Just over an hour, I finished my face up about 15 minutes ago. I've done pretty basic makeup. I did lightly set it because it still had a teeny bit of a tack to it. I had no troubles with blending powder over top. I am wearing a kind of illuminating blush. So I do feel like my pores are a little bit more visible, which isn't my favorite, but that's my bad. <laughs> I think next time I wear this foundation I'll need to have a pore filling primer because they are just slightly visible on my skin especially on my cheek area so I'm gonna go about the rest of my day and I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit I'm back that was probably the most annoying and uncool thing I've ever done in my life <laughs> moving right along <laughs> <laughs> foundation check-in so it is now 10 past 6 in the evening so this has been on for eight hours my first check-in was 10 o'clock math <laughs> and this is what I currently look like uh, I haven't looked at my face and clearly I haven't touched up my lipstick because probably all over my face because I just ate <laughs> but it has been the average full working day Let's see how it's looking in Interesting. Okay, I'm clearly a little bit oily. You can see my forehead, my kind of cheek area on my nose. So I am looking a little bit shiny, but the actual foundation still looks pretty good. It is getting a little bit creepy on my upper lip and around my nose. It looks like it may have come off a little bit on my chin. I think that's just me touching my face though, in all honesty, because I do tend to do that throughout the day. I could probably blot and powder down a little bit to get rid of the oils, but it doesn't look crazy oily you guys have seen me in some worse situations with foundations <laughs> but yeah the good thing is is it hasn't patched off i still look even i don't look blotchy my redness isn't coming through i'll probably take it to the around 10 or 11 p.m mark we'll see how long i can last because i'm i'm kind of tired already i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i'm an old lady now all right <laughs> I'm gonna go about the rest of my day. I may play around with a little bit of eyeshadow, so if I come back with a crazy or different eye look, then that's why, but I just feel like, I feel like playing with makeup, you know? I'll leave the foundation as is, I'm not gonna touch up. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. This is gonna be my final check-in. My pajamas are on, my hair is up. I'm ready to retire to my bed, <laughs> and I'm ready to wash my face. It is now just gone 20 past 11, so this has been on for over 12 hours, so it's had a long ass wear test. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a quick look at what I look like. <laughs> so my pores are quite visible right now and it seems to have kind of eaten the makeup a little bit. <laughs> I feel like my redness around here is really starting to show and slightly on my forehead and then also in my kind of t-zone area that's where I produce the most amount of oil. Obviously you can see I'm very very shiny right now. It's kind of gone all bobbly along the top of my lip as well. It's looking pretty creepy and makeupy there. And it's kind of rubbed off around my nose area here. Still looks pretty good around here though. Like around the bottom half of my face where I don't really produce as much oil. Still looking pretty strong there. At the moment it's very movable. Wipe my nose back here and it's just come off. And it's transferring quite a lot. They say this is waterproof but doesn't appear to be oil proof. <laughs> I'm just an oily mess. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I do find the fading by here a little odd though. I've never really got that before. I like to see my pores so prominent. Kind of concerns me a little bit because I feel like my face has absorbed my face. I don't... <laughs> Considering how many people have read about this saying it lasted so long on their skin. I don't know if I really agree with that. <laughs> I was expecting to be more impressed but I'm really not. <laughs> I really like the way my skin looked in the beginning and I do feel like I lived up to the kind of natural matte 
finished. It didn't do anything for my pores, so I didn't smooth over anything. It just literally looked like my skin, which some people will like. If you've got very flawless skin, you can use this and you're just gonna even out discoloration and some blemishes. But for someone like me, I feel like I need a little bit something more for my pores and things. So like a smoothing element, stuff like that. I do just have generally textured skin. It's just the way it is. <laughs> the shade was amazing and it's amazing that they've got so many shades in this range. It's so versatile and they've got a lot of people in mind. You know, usually I'm the palest shade in the whole range. To not be is incredible and props to Urban Decay for doing that for us. But yeah, as you can see by my face, it definitely isn't gonna last 24 hours on someone with oily skin. At around the eight hour mark, it looked all right. I was a little bit oily, but it was still together on my face. Now at the 12 hour plus mark, it's uh, looking a bit questionable. <laughs> I do still have the sample, so I'm gonna continue and try it, different primers and things, and see if I can make it last longer on my skin, keep my oils at bay. <laughs> but yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button so you get notified of future uploads just like this one. I love trying new foundations. It's one of my favorite things to do because there's so many different formulas out there and I'm looking for my perfect one. Also, if you wanna help a girl out, you can leave a thumbs up on this video. It lets me know that you guys want more stuff like this and I'll continue to serve you guys with this content. I, I'm delirious at this point. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna stop babbling on now and being a crazy woman. Uh, and I'm gonna love you and leave you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you on the next one. Till then. Bye guys. If you die... Words. I was crushed for what I am. Fashion of it, I don't give no fucks. I admit that I live in stuff. But I can hide it when I'm all dressed up. How you even think I got this far? This far? And I can be needy. Way too damn needy. I can be needy. Tell me how good it feels to be needed. So that's what I did, they give you this little card which gives you a little bit rude. And I literally forgot, <coughs> and I literally forgot to take a, and I have, and I literally forgot, to, I forgot how to speak, clearly. Since the day we arrived on this planet And it moves us all Through despair and hope The great unknown Till we find a place On a path unwinding In the circle Alrighty then. <laughs>